Welcome everyone. Today we will be talking about uh, project crashing or uh, speeding up uh, project activities. Before uh, starting the main uh, uh, discussions, uh, important to understand uh, project direct costs uh, that are related to labor, material, and equipment uh, required for completing different project activities. Also, project indirect costs. Uh, which uh, include um, uh, costs such as um, uh, rent uh, paid for offices, cost of supervision, and uh, some uh, managerial costs. These are not uh, directly related with um, uh, project activities. Then uh, project direct cost and indirect cost can be plotted, uh, and the sum of the two will be the total cost of the project. Obviously, we are after minimum uh, total cost uh, for the project, which shows us the optimum duration as well. Important uh, concept in here is uh, the relationship between time and cost for different activities. An example activity with a normal duration of 10 days uh, with normal cost of 100 days, and then when the duration is reduced to 8, the cost is increased to 150 because of overtime and uh, dedication of more resources, we can uh, calculate the slope uh, for the two uh, instances and the cost per time uh, unit is calculated to be uh, $25. We can uh, follow these steps uh, for uh, reducing the project uh, duration or project crashing. And um, a step three is uh, very important to find activities with the smallest uh, crash cost that we discussed in the previous uh, slide. Very simple example project with six um, activities. Uh, two of them can be crashed, activity B and activity F. Uh, we calculate the slope for the two, and the better option here to crash is obviously activity F. Another example in here, a project with uh, seven activities, normal time and cost, and also crash time and cost are given. The slope has been calculated for you with maximum crash time uh, for each uh, activity also specified. We can draw the critical path uh, of the project based on the logic given, and activities ADFG are on the critical path. Any reduction of time on uh, these activities can uh, produce the total duration for the project, which is currently 25 days. We can uh, also plot uh, the normal situation for the project with the indirect cost uh, of 400, which is given to us uh, in this table in the red font, uh, indirect cost, uh, and also the total cost of the project. So we need to follow different steps for project crashing. Uh, the first uh, step is to choose between uh, uh, the activities on uh, the critical path and uh, the cheapest activity to crash uh, in our case is activity A with a slope of 20. We can uh, then add uh, the additional uh, uh, cost of 20 to the previous uh, cost of 450 and also redraw the project network and find a new uh, critical path for the project. Also, we can plot project duration and the cost. As you can see, the total cost is going down, so it's make, it is making a good sense to continue crashing. We will uh, follow the steps again. Uh, in uh, this uh, situation, we have four activities that are on the critical path and uh, the best choice is activity D with the slope of 25. So that cost is added to the previous cost, uh, direct cost of 470 uh, and uh, the duration is reduced to 23 days. We need to redraw the project network to find a critical path. In this case, we have two of them. The situation for the project can be plotted now. Uh, the total cost is decreased to 795. We are on a downward trend, so it's making a good sense to continue crashing. 
following the steps again uh, the choices that we have uh, are shown on this uh, uh, slide as you can see the two uh, parallel uh, critical path or ACFG and ADFG we can select uh, activities C and D on each of the path and uh, the slope uh, for this choice will be $55 or we can be smarter and select activity F which is a merging point for the two uh, critical path and uh, the associated cost is only $30 so this is our choice uh, we reduce the duration of F and now the duration of the project is reduced to 22 redrawing the project network we can see that every activity is now uh, critical we can plot uh, the uh, situation for the project total cost is now reduced to $700 75 dollars downward trend showing us that one more step should be taken following the steps uh, we now um, have to uh, crash and reduce the duration of multiple activities e from the top uh, uh, critical path of a b e g uh, and c and d for the other two critical paths should be selected so 610 is uh, the new direct cost and the duration is now 21 day for the project we can plot and now the total cost is uh, increased to 810 uh, this is when we stop uh, crashing and reducing activity duration uh, the graph shows that the optimum duration is 22 days with the associated total cost of 775 to conclude uh, the discussion, uh, we can uh, follow these five steps to find the optimum project uh, duration. Uh, thank you, and uh, we will be continuing discussions in next uh, videos.